Wow! Okay, brother, so this is what you did in the cell for the last 10 years, huh? The prison cells, man. You didn't have anything else to do, huh? Besides that, yeah. I started writing books about yeah. the drug war, about prison conditions. Wow. About overzealous narcotic detectives <laughs> and tough on crime platforms building bigger criminals. Yeah. And I started having visions that as soon as I figured out the spiritual aspects of it, God would bless it. I'd publish my books when I got out. I'd stop being on the run and on drugs. So you wanted to turn your life around, yeah, right? I wanted to turn my life around through writing. Okay. And God used it, and now I'm getting really blessed. Now I'm a best-selling mm. author on Amazon. Nice. I got like 15 <laughs> different prison and drug war books. I'm yeah. narrating them into audio book. Wow. And I'm finally Sweet. making enough money to be able to give back. And I got a sponsor, Phil Duran. Yeah who has 12 years of sobriety. He used yeah. to be a TV producer. Okay. And now I'm writing a reality TV show nice. about how to turn your life around mm. using the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. Wow, that's and sweet. it's called My Hardest Step. Okay. And one thing that plagues me, yeah. even though I was a runaway kid and didn't think I had any other options other than selling pot and speed, yeah. one thing that plagues me is that that was poison. Yep. And so part of my giving back, I'm going to Orangewood, uh, children's home yeah. where the children are, are orphans there Okay. and there are some babies that are born addicted to drugs no. so I have to give back right. to society for okay. ever becoming a part of selling that poison so that's mm. part. It's going to be part of the reality so show. Has, has God been able to turn your life around? Have you been able to uh, like draw close to God and how you use your writing uh, are you going to use it to turn it into a TV show or movie or something? Yeah, well, my vision while I was in prison was to get published and yeah. for the prison stuff to just take over and be a movie, yeah. TV series. <laughs> okay. Well, that's expensive. Like, I'm a best-selling author, yep. but to actually, like, sell that to the networks, it yeah. was, it's a big, big uh, right, budget. It's, it's a big budget. That's right. So what I'm finding out is that yeah. it's a cheaper budget to do a reality show. Okay. So it's just basically what God's put in front of me. Right. He put a sponsor yep. who has 12 years of recovery who happens to be a TV <laughs> producer <laughs> nice. in the past. Right. And and now I'm right. I wrote the book already, published it already. Yep. And, and you got onto radio too, right? Oh yeah, I've been on uh, KSPR. Saddleback, Saddleback Radio, 88.5 KSPR, and yep. UC Irvine. Yep. I was able to speak as a guest lecturer nice. about prison conditions to 100 students at the wow. fifth strongest criminal justice school in the United States. So God is good. Uh, now, all my visions are coming true, except I haven't mm. been on Oprah and Glenn Beck yet. Oh my coming. gosh. Okay, brother. Later.